Hi, I'm Brad Dexter, a physical therapist at QLI here in Omaha, Nebraska, and this is Trev. Uh, Trev and I are just going to show you uh, a setup using a stand table today. Um, we're going to go through a few points of adjustability with a stand table and some things that are specific to Trev, but that also might be helpful um, to other folks out there as well. So just some things that we're thinking about before we even got into the stand table. Uh, we did a slide board transfer in. We actually removed uh, the table portion of this. And if you haven't seen one of these before, it starts out in a sitting position. So and when we did that slide board transfer into it, we just went from his power wheelchair into this. In Trev's case, he has a C4 level spinal cord injury. Um, has a little bit of sensation below his level of injury but it was mostly a dependent transfer into uh, the standing frame itself. Once we got in, we're looking to make sure his hips are all the way back in the seat, and then that the leg length down to the floor was appropriately adjusted with the foot plates. Uh, when we felt like everything was good, I had one person supporting his shoulders to keep him upright behind him, and then we pumped ourselves up into this position, um, maneuvered the table portion up to the appropriate height and moved it in towards Trev as well. These standing frames, uh, they have a lot of adjustability to them and there are lots of different components that you can get uh, as part of this. You need to make sure that the therapist that you're working with um, has maybe trialed you with some of those components or that you're talking through or at least are knowledgeable in what components are out there. Uh, so you can do anything on this device from uh, get back and front casters. You can change out the type of backrest that you have. You can get laterals on it to provide some trunk stability. You can do a headrest off of this. You can do chest strap. Um, there's a number of different ways that you can um, uh, get different types of knee blocks on here, different types of seats, uh, different types of tray tables. Um, and so again, just make sure that you're knowledgeable in what exists and making sure that you're using what's going to work best for you as well. And in Trev's case, uh, when he started doing this, um, you know, we knew that we wanted to incorporate a standing program as, as part of his daily routine um, just to get some weight down through his lower extremities. Um, there's some nice research out there that demonstrates loading some of those long bones in the legs is helpful with maintaining bone density. Though it's not as good as putting some amount of force through those bones using the muscles like you would get when you're using electrical stimulation. So um, honestly, using electrical stimulation in conjunction with standing is probably the best way to help improve bone density or maintain bone density in the long run. Um, in Trev's case, we had blood pressure dropping when he would go into a standing position. So we started out using a tilt table where we could take him incrementally up into this upright position. And when he was tolerating that for about 20 minutes, we were able to shift over into the stand table, figure out the right configuration for him. And then we were looking at what types of things do we need to add to his body to help maintain blood pressure. Uh, Trev is wearing an abdominal binder right now that is going to have some amount of dynamic um, compression to his abdomen. Uh, we've been able to actually graduate away from uh, Ted hose and from ACE wraps around his lower extremities, but we did start with Ted hose and ACE wraps, so we had static and dynamic compression to the lower extremities. Um, and one thing that we haven't tried together is actually using kind of electrical stimulation to add some muscle pumping, which is going to help with blood flow return up to the heart and to the brain as well. Um, again, just remember when you take someone with a higher level spinal cord injury up into a standing position, they can experience that orthostatic hypotension where the blood kind of pools down to the lower extremities and it makes it more difficult to get back up. Um, maybe one last thing in Trev's case, that we make sure that the catheter is down below his feet so things are draining appropriately. You're not going to run into that uh, with everyone, but in his case, um, we do. The last thing with Trev is he's able to kind of stabilize himself with his elbows. And you'll notice that this tray table is not um, providing a counterforce up at his sternum, like you might think. It's actually down on his stomach. And we do that just to provide a little bit of static compression to the abdomen, in addition to the dynamic compression from his abdominal binder too. 
That's all we have for you today. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please go ahead and do so below. I'll be happy to get back to you. But thanks again for watching, and until next time.